Hello everyone, this video is going to talk about calculating the equivalence ratio. So when we talk about equivalence ratio, we're basically talking about a normalized air to fuel ratio or fuel to air ratio. Uh, either way, depending on how you want to you work it out. So uh, it's usually shown with this Greek symbol. And so if P is less than 1, it's usually a lean. It's a, well, it is a lean mixture. If P is equal to 1, then we have a stoichiometric stoichiometric mixture, and if B is greater than 1, then we have a rich mixture. Now, lean means we have excess oxygen. We have extra O2. Stoichiometric means we're going to use up everything. We're going to use up all the fuel and all the oxygen uh, equally. They're both going to be gone. And rich means we're going to have extra fuel. So we can calculate phi, this is equal to the fuel-air ratio that we have divided by the fuel-air ratio uh, that's stoichiometric of our fuel, whatever fuel we're going to use. So let's say we use methane, and so we can write out the stoichiometric combustion equation for methane, CH4 plus 2O2 plus 3.76 into, this is uh, methane and air, uh, goes to, not equal to, CO2 plus 2 H2O. And if you want to see where that comes from, there is another video that talks about how to work out stoichiometric combustion equations. So we want to calculate our fuel-air ratio. Now this is a, a molar ratio, a mole ratio, not a molar ratio, but a mole ratio which is equivalent to a volumetric ratio, assuming we're using an ideal gas, assuming we're using ideal gases and the ideal gas law applies. Uh, you can also use a mass ratio if you would like, um, and if you want to uh, see how to calculate uh, a mass ratio from a mole ratio, uh, there will be a video for that. I haven't put it up yet, but it will be coming. So if we look at the number of moles, we have one mole of methane, so one over and if we look at this, we have 2 times 1 mole of oxygen plus 3.76 moles of nitrogen. And that gives us, this is a stoichiometric, fuel air stoichiometric is uh, 0 0.0105. Now let's say we have a situation where we have 12% of methane in a flow. In a flow, and we want to know what the equivalence ratio is. So we would say C is equal to 0 0.12 divided by 0 0.105. If we work that out, that's equal to 1.14, which is greater than 1, therefore, we have a rich mixture. Okay. I hope you found this video useful and have a good day.